Need help setting up a event tent? Watch today's video and we'll show you how. We are super excited. We are getting ready to have a wedding here on our property in five days. And we have found a party tent on Amazon. We have the link down below. It, this one is a 10 by 20 tent. We live in a sort of high wind area, but even if you don't live in a wind area, these tents are known to become like parachutes or umbrellas. So we are going to show you how to set up the tent, but then we're going to reinforce it with um, different methods so that we can make sure that it stays, uh, the items inside stay dry and hopefully it won't blow away. So let's get started. Okay, this is our first look at what's in the box. They do have some diagrams here. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and follow their diagrams, but let you know when we have any issues. Uh, and hopefully it goes as smooth as their pictures show. The metal framework is number two through six. So, and those are stamped on the, uh, the units themselves or the pieces of pipe. The, uh, the plastic connectors are not numbered. So we're gonna go through and actually just take a, uh, a Sharpie and go through and mark each one, what they are, the number that corresponds with them. Uh, you're able to decipher uh, which ones are which uh, per the quantity. So we're gonna go do that and uh, then we'll start uh, assembling. We have everything laid out. Um, with the uh, three and four poles, and we're gonna go ahead and couple everything together and uh, get it uh, connected. So we're gonna take the coupler, I want you to just slide that on, take uh, the beveled edge of number four, slide that into number three, and then the, that joint is done, and we'll continue on through. After three, four, three, we're gonna to come to an upright uh, for the roof support, and we're gonna slide that in, it's a number 13. And those just click straight in. Once you hear that click, and then just continue on through with the couplers to uh, get this side done. Okay, when we get to the corner, we're gonna go ahead and click that in, and we're gonna rotate it with this and the one in the center, make sure they're facing downwards. So both of them are good right now. And then we'll continue around the corner and do the other side. We found on a couple of our number threes that the, uh, the, the retaining device for these have gone inside. So we need to take a needle nose and bring that back out, just like that. Okay, just something to point out, when you have the uh, roof, or uh, you have the corner or the roof support in the center, there's a notch right here. That's gotta correspond with the, the uh, metal clip that's on here. So when you push that in, it clicks in. And then you can rotate it and get it in the right position. So the couplers are just slide in only. There's no, uh, there's no retaining clip on those. And what we'll do after we go through everything, we're gonna put some duct tape on those joints to make sure they stay nice and tight. We've laid out the number three roof supports. Those are the first ones that go into the uh, plastic uh, corners uh, for the roof. On this, you're definitely gonna need to have one to two people extra, one person to plug in the post and one to, uh, to assemble the roof. Um, otherwise, you're going to have issues with uh, cracking and bending and uh, having problems with the frame. We're going to go ahead and start assembling the roof portion of the tent. So that's going to come up to here and we're going to go to the opposite side corner so this will support itself. Okay, so we're going to take these two, we're going to rotate this to where the uh, retainer is on the bottom, snap that in, and now like that. Now that should support itself to be able to get all four corners done. So we're going to put in the number five uh, post uh, to bring it up to this level here and then we're going to work on taping the joints to reinforce everything um, because we are expecting a little bit of wind.
What one pops there? <laughs> that one down there in the corner. Came out. That one. I'm sure this thing. Yeah, the I can see the clip. Yeah. Hold on, Ross. And then that one. <laughs> okay, so explain what's going on here. All right, we're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> The, the frame, every time we push on it, uh, one of these clips come out. So we're going to do uh, some duct taping. In the box, they sent along white tape and it said in case of leaking to go ahead and tape this, the, the leak, we are going to go ahead and use that tape and we're going to run it along the seams because the seams are just stitched and water could drip down below. Uh, so we're just going to uh, tape the, the seams before we put it onto the frame. We had all the seams taped. There wasn't quite enough tape of what they included to do all of them, so we finished off with the duct tape that we used for the joints. We've moved inside the barn because the storm is coming, but we needed to know if this was gonna be all good for the wedding. So we're gonna go ahead and finish and assembling it in the barn and then move it out and show you how to stake it out uh, for your event. Ready to install the bottom legs. Make sure the holes are at the bottom. That way that the uh, um, tie downs for the tent will clip into these holes and you'll be able to tighten it up. We did have an issue trying to get the corners on. And what we found, if we shake the frame, the same time we're putting the tent uh, canvas on, it, it popped right up, no problems. So we'll go ahead and stick these on and uh, get it up. All right, we'll go ahead and install the leg cover and it's got a little clip on the end of it and that'll just fit into the hole. The further you can stretch it, the better. Um, it'll just tighten up the tent a lot more. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the sides installed. All right, where the uh, roof tarp meets the, uh, the posts, there's little Velcro tabs here. And you just wrap those around. Oops. And that'll keep the tarp from pushing up. So there's two on each 10 foot section. It'll just come through and then wrap that around. Now on your tarp uh, side, you're gonna have, these are all 10 footers. So, you go and you're gonna just attach this and it's gonna fleet. It's just gonna float. Okay, once you got that done. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do once you get the panel uh, up and supported, you're gonna take the plastic clips that they provide and you'll go right through the eyelet and then around the pole and then just push these together and they'll clip. And we're gonna do that along each one of these eyelets. And then once you get these done, we'll come up to the corner posts and we'll wrap the bell curl strip around the post and that'll secure the sides. All right, it's all up, and it really is not a bad tent to put up. 
Um, for the price point, we didn't expect a you know a super extra dime uh, unit. We just need something for six hours for a wedding, and this will suffice. Now you do have to keep in mind before you buy this tent, it is not meant for rainy, stormy conditions. It's not meant for any type of wind. Uh, it's just for a shade for a day, and that's all we're going to be doing using. Uh, so, as far as that goes, uh, when we bring this unit outside, because it's, it's storming outside right now, we'll be securing all the, all the posts down with a great stakes set at a 45 and tying everything down nice and tight to make sure it doesn't take off on us and uh, that's an enjoyable day for everyone. Alright, here it is all done. Uh, we're at the wedding. Everything's set up great. Uh, we're really happy with the way everything turned out. So if you have any questions, uh, comment down below. We'll be happy to get back with you on any process that we used as far as constructing the tent. Um, we just really thank you for watching DIY on the house, and uh, thanks.